Hello everyone. Last week on February 13th, the state updated their calculator policy on things that had to be disabled in order to be compliant while star testing. So we're going to go through how to set those settings in your calculator. And I'm going to click on this icon and while that loads, I'm going to show you where the change is. So this is the calculator policy and the verbiage is pretty much the same. You get to this additional information about calculator section and you'll go to the second paragraph underneath that section heading and it says for handheld calculators all memory must be cleared to default both before and after testing. Any programs or applications must be removed or disabled prior to testing and here's the new part. If included on the device the following functions must be disabled during testing. Geometry functions, graphing implicit equations and inequalities, graphing inequalities uh, where the calculator or the application automatically interprets the inequality symbol, and functions that automatically calculate the mean absolute deviation. And it says for specific assistance in appropriately preparing calculators and graphing applications for use during testing, contact the manufacturer. So we have been in contact with TI to determine what we need to disable in order to be compliant with those new um, specifications on things that have to be disabled. And these are the three things on the Inspire that we have to disable. We have to disable limit geometry functions, disable inequality graphing, and then the implicit graphing conic templates, conic analysis, and geometry conics. Those things have to be disabled in order to be compliance with TE's updated calculator policy. So when you open your TI software, which all math teachers that use calculators should have on their computers, you're going to go to this class and then the calculator with the gear. And I'm going to enter press to test. If you have navigators, you don't need to plug your calculators in. If you do not have navigators, you can plug in one base that has 10 calculators. You can plug one of those in and, and update 10 calculators at a time. You do not have to do every calculator by itself. So I'm going to hit that calculator. I'm going to click enter press to test. All of those things are checked, but I don't want to disable everything. So I'm going to, I'm going to click this right here where it says select or unselect all. And then I'm just going to select those three things that TEA says we have to disable. We have to disable limit geometry functions, disable inequality graphing, and disable implicit graphing. And I'm going to click enter press to test. It's saying um, all handhelds are going to be restarted and press to test content will be deleted for handhelds already in press to test. Yes, it's what I want to do. I'm going to enter press to test. <clears throat> it might take a moment to do it. I'm going to pause. Okay, it's now configuring my handhelds. Um, it's reading 21 of them right now and putting them in press to test. I forgot to remind you the bases have to be plugged into a power source whether you're using the navigator or whether you're connecting them to your computer the bases have to be plugged in in order to update the calculator settings to press to test so it'll take just a moment but when this is all the way done i'm going to pull a calculator out and i'm going to show you how to verify that it is in press to test mode okay so now it says um, the number of handhelds configured, I have 30 handhelds and all 30 are configured. It's got this green check mark. Now we'll look at a calculator to see exactly how to verify. Okay, I have just pl uh, plugged in all my handhelds um, and updated the press the test settings. So I'm looking at my calculator. I'm going to click OK for English, OK for medium, and you'll see the press to test come up and you can scroll through it to make sure, okay, limit geometry, disable inequality graphing, and then disable implicit graphing are checked and nothing else is checked. So I'm gonna click okay and we are good to go.